Do you want to wow your guests and extend as little energy as possible? In this video, I'm going to be building the ultimate breakfast board and it is going to be so simple for you. You're going to be in the kitchen doing very little to no cooking at all. If we're just meeting, I'm Jordan, and this is Amazing Gray's Boards. And on this channel, I do what I love. I build boards for my friends and family to show them how much I care. So if that is something that you love to do, then please consider subscribing. I build a ton of different types and styles and size boards that I think you would enjoy watching. I am so excited for this board. I have been waiting so long to do a breakfast board because one, they're so simple. Everything that I put on this board, except the bacon and like the frozen pancakes and waffles were already made. So I did very little cooking and you actually don't have to do any if you chose to do like the bacon that you can microwave, which is totally fine. And you would do no cooking for this board. So as you can see, I started placing the croissants on the board on the left-hand side. And I wanted to just make sure that I always add the largest, the largest product that I have first so that I have a good idea of what's gonna fit and where. So that's where I started with, and I got those at the supermarket. They were already pre-made that morning. So they were fresh and soft and they were perfect for the guests that I was giving this to. So I did use a, a little tool that I have gotten from Amazon, which I will link below. It's a flower cutter. You can totally do that with the Kiwis uh, with a regular paring knife, but I don't have that skill. And that tool took me like less than a minute to do those three Kiwis and they look so beautiful. So now I just decided that I wanted to put majority of the fruit down the center of my board. This board is huge by the way. So I pretty much did full packs of everything that I had. Um, so I put blackberries, raspberries, blueberries, and strawberries. And so now on the right hand side, I am lining up the pre, uh, basically the toaster, um, waffles and pancakes. So I just put those in the oven and kept it very low and warm so that at least they cooked through the frozenness of it and they weren't just defrosted and they had a little bit of texture to it. So I did put these little almond biscotti thins at the bottom left, which were from Trader Joe's. And then in the little ramekin that I had, I put one at the top, which was a lemon curd, which goes really well with croissants and you know some of the pancakes. And then I had a raspberry jam next to it. And so I'm putting the pre-cooked hard boiled eggs cut in half on the left side. And now I'm starting to fill in my other ramekins like the uh, espresso coffee, the coffee, the chocolate covered espresso beans, and then I had this syrup. So the little round patties are actually a veggie patty. So I gave a vegetarian option, and then the bacon is a, is a full on bacon. It's a pork <laughs> organic bacon. And so I wanted to add a little bit more color because I just saw that it was, you know, of course, with a lot of browns and breakfast foods, I figured a cute little slices of tangerines would help bring and pop some color out. So I am having it with a cup of coffee from Mariposa Coffee. I'll link them below. The Sequoia Sunrise is amazing, but there is a ton more flavors that are so good. I buy like six bags at a time, so make sure to grab one if you can. And this is my board. It's super simple, very easy to make, and your friends are going to love it.